Hey everyone, RJ here, and today I'm doing a comparison between the Curacera Hydro Reach and the LG G Stylo. Now, this is a completely off, I mean, way completely different comparison here. Gonna be playing some games side by side, opening apps side by side. This is a very low end budget device. Well, this phone right here was considered like a mid range device. This got a better processor and all that good stuff in it. So um, we're going to see just how well the little Kerasera matches up against the LG G Stylo. So let's go ahead and get into this comparison. Hey everyone, welcome to the comparison between the Kerasera Hydro Reach and the LG G Stylo. These are on Boost Mobile. And uh, these do have several different you know, differences. They you know, different processors and stuff like that. And uh, I'll get into that here in a second. Um, first of all, it has a five-inch display, uh, 540 by 960. Now, if I'm wrong, correct me. But from what I've seen, it is, is the resolution of this uh, device. This phone here is 720p, which is 12 720 by 1280. And uh, yeah, 5.7 to five-inch. Uh, the phone retails at $200, retails at $100. We're going to see what the difference is. Now, this, this here does run the 1.1 gigahertz quad core 210 processor with one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigs of built-in storage. Well, this phone here runs the 1.2 gigahertz quad core um, 410 processor with the same one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigs of built-in storage. So we're going to go right now. And go around the phone uh your your camera power and volume rocker is on the back here while your power button is on the left here on the carousel kind of hard to see and your volume rocker is here on the right with your camera flash speaker on top while speakers on the bottom here on the lg so right now we're going to go ahead and do a basic power up test now this does have a 5 megapixel camera on the rear with an 8 megapixel in the rear with laser focus, 2 megapixel on the Kerasera, 5 megapixel on the LG. So, basic power up test on go. So, wait for these here to power up and run these tests. I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited to see how it's going to work out between these two phones. I have done a lot of work on the original Stylo. On Boost Mobile, trying to get it faster by downloading third-party launchers and re renew and deleting some apps and stuff of that nature, just to get it to run faster. And I have got it to run a bit faster, but there's times if you use it kind of heavy, kind of fast, it does tend to lag up. So this here is on first. While we're still waiting on the LG, go ahead and unlock this phone here, and the Stylo finally makes it. On. so first things first having a hard time seeing the uh, the LG hang on one second okay so first things first we're gonna go in here and go to clean master and clean both of these phones out to where it's an even test Like I said, this phone right here, not even being an HD display, is really pretty vibrant. Um, I'm really surprised in the quality of the screen. On Actually, I'm surprised in the Kerasera, you know, in general. It's just a good phone. I mean, I'm really kind of impressed with it. I mean, it's not without lag or that issues, but it's a budget phone. What do you expect? So now that we got all that took care of here. We'll go ahead and back out of here and we'll go ahead and get started and my phone is going dead on the Kerasera but we'll get done with this here before it goes dead so we'll be back in one second okay so now you'll see here both of them are clear of everything and we're going to go ahead and start with the calculator 
a little bit faster on the Carasera. A little bit faster on the LG. Camera. About equal there. So the can't so the camera cut off due to battery life there. Um about the Daily Bible. So a little bit faster here on the LG. Go into Chrome. Cam back. Sorry about that. My battery went dead on the Carousera, so I had to put it on charge for a little bit. So let's go ahead and get back into this comparison. Uh, going to the Chrome. And we'll type in. There's Techno Buffalo there. We'll type it in here as well. And here we go. So Stylo does take it. Barely, but it does take it. Go into Phone Arena. While we are here. So it's kind of neck and neck, you know. Um... From a 210 to a 410, you know, that it is what it is. You know, some of them, you know, does put out more than others. You know, it's just, it's just the way it is. I mean, I don't know. All phones are different. I mean, this has got a smaller processor with the same ROM and RAM versus, you know, a bigger processor with the same ROM and RAM. So now we'll go into Netflix and see which one starts up faster. Actually, we won't because I think I'm logged in uh, on here. Uh, so I will go ahead and bypass Netflix. We'll go in here and we'll open up the recent apps and start with the calendar here. So pretty close, but the stylo had it. Pretty close, but Stylo had it again. Well, that was a calculator, so my bad there. Sorry about that. I'm just wasting time. Uh, we'll go into camera. And honestly, it's about even. That started up faster, but it kind of kind of evened up. Uh, so we'll go back into phone arena here. Now I started back up a lot faster. It has had a load back up a lot quick, a lot slower. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it's pretty much calendar. Look how much slower. This is bogging down. This one here is starting to bog down as the more we're using it. So we're going to go ahead right now. While we got it bogged down, we are going to go into the games. Cause my camera that I'm using right now is actually beginning to die itself. So we're going to go ahead and start this up here. And I'm going to have to pause it again. If there's anything that I got to. I don't got to have all these permissions and stuff like that. Yeah, so be back shortly. Okay, finally. So let's go ahead and start pushing play. So we'll see now which one starts up faster. Like I said, the LG Volt does seem, I mean, the LG G Stylo does seem to slow down the more that you use it and bog it down compared to the Carousera. Uh, even though it does have a 1.2 410 quad core in the uh, G Stylo, 
you see the Curious Zebra is just so much faster. It's already on the it's already on the racing screen. It's still loading up on the on the G Stylo. So as you see, it took so much longer for the G-Stylo to start up. You know, let me go ahead and get these games off here. I push home on the G-Stylo. As you see, it's taking forever to go back home. And you'll probably see the apps disappear for a little bit. As you see, there's a blank screen. There's nothing there. And it might come back. I don't know. I'm kind of interested to see how long it's going to take for it to come back up on, to come back up. What happened to it? It's just, just nothing. There it comes. There's some life. And there it finally comes back up. So as you see, that's the issue that I run into with the G-Stylo on a daily. I mean, you know, the phone runs fine if you use it for this very minimal basic usage. If you use it for anything hard, anything quick at all you see how it does how it does so we're going to do one more test uh, on temple run 2 i can't do benchmark test because for some reason the lg i cannot get it to function it says turn off network connection of course when you do that it does not want to work so therefore i can't get it to work so uh yeah my voice is starting to go again uh, unfortunately so it looks like that the Temple Run started up faster on the G Stylo this time, which I'm really surprised. Um, but, you know, like I said, it does have its moods. Uh, it'll run fast one minute, and then it'll just kind of, you know, slow down to a crawl. Then it kind of wants to go back to full speed ahead. So, you know, that's the kind of issue that you kind of run into with the LG G Stylo. So we're going to start at the same time. So there you go. Um, just like I said, quick look, quick comparison um, on the you know between the Carousel Hydro Reach, you know versus the LG G Stylo. This phone retails at a hundred bucks. Well, this phone here retails at two hundred bucks. However, this phone right here, I purchased it for fifty nine ninety nine at Walmart.com. This phone here ranges from, um, well, since the LG Stylo 2 came out, it ranges from like 80 bucks to like 130 bucks and stuff like that. So always just check your local stores and check prices. Um, but like I said, 1.1 quad core 210 versus the 1.2 quad core 410 with the same ROM and RAM. And to my, in my opinion, I have less trouble with the Carousel Hydro Reach. So, any questions or comments about these phones, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. If this was helpful in any way, leave me that thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Hit that subscribe, that subscribe button down below there. Um, also, I will be adding links in for uh, social media as I am starting a page on Facebook. Um, so I will leave uh, just a link in the description below for that as well 
if you want to go on there and check that out when I get it set up. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go. Y'all have a good one, and stay tuned for further comparisons, videos, reviews, all kinds of good stuff. See y'all later.